Hey, what's up? Uh, it, it's been it, it's been some time, and a lot of things have changed. First of all, Adventuring 41. Woo! That's awesome. Second of all, um, there were some events in Inazuma, and I went and completed them all. <coughs> so I unlocked Inazuma. Uh, one one thing that I want to do real quick. There is this guy. Which is from the the luggage reel right now, which is from the Lost Riches event, and as you can see, I exchanged everything except for uh, the mini silly, a miniature green silly. It becomes most happy indeed uh, when it gets close to a tree. So as a shut in myself, I will not be going close to trees, which obviously leads us to getting <laughs> getting the viola one. Beautiful. Next, um, this is a burning issue. We have the new banners with the events and all that. We have gathered quite a few. I have not yet bought a single one of the acquaint fates using primo gems. These are all from events and ascending characters. You know, because you get extra wishes. Anyway, this one is first. Let's go. We had 48 pity, if I remember. Oh! Perfect! We need constellations for Diona. Uh, we want C4, if I remember correctly. Okay, Sky Red Swords. Uh, we, we don't really care about these. Uh, another 4 star, please. Okay. Favonius Greatsword. We are guaranteed a 5 star. Now, obviously, there is a huge chance, 50% to be exact, which um, we will lose, uh, which we won't get the character that we want, which is Ganyu. Now, as this is a new account, the only characters that I have are Dog. <laughs> so, I need a 5 star which will act as a main DPS because the main DPS that I have right now is Razor which is honestly Come. yeah I've seen a lot of tier lists and Razor is usually put to uh, around B rank as main DPS because um, well honestly he's not that good to be fair <clears throat> so let's see if we get a 5 star uh, no. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. As I said, we need a DPS. So, we can make every character work, except Chichi, because she's a healer. Uh, Keqing would be amazing, uh, especially with the Dendro element now, and the Dendro Traveler that you can get, because he has now become a pretty decent to good character. Uh, he works well with Electro, and actually I should change to Dendro character and invest in him, to use him with Razor more. Okay, except Chichi and Mona. Okay, okay, we got Dory. Amazing, new characters, we take those. Um, I don't even know what element she is, I, I'm so stupid, it's right there, and she's purple all over. G uh, glad to have you. I, I saw a video about her idle animation. I love Mora, and Mora makes me happy! <clears throat> this is one. Th okay, okay, Kaching, we will take this. The reason that I I love Kaching, even though um, many don't exactly like her, is uh, Kaching has a really fast-paced playstyle. She teleports using her E everywhere, and yeah, so uh, the lag is real. She teleports everywhere, and he Q, uh, her Q. It's a really uh, fast-paced ability, she teleports all over the, the, the screen and deals damage to a huge AoE. So, yeah, we love Kaching. Even though I would like a, a character with an element besides... besides Electro. I, I already have Razor and I just got the... what's your name again? I, I guess it doesn't really matter. We still have 20 pulls. Let's go. Um, 
we're here for Sing So right now. We're here for Sing So. Okay, Sing So. It's time to come home. Let's <coughs> let let's go. It's um it's the middle of the night right now. Actually, I should be sleeping. Um I'm alone in my house because my parents and my brother is out of town, so other people are sleeping in the apartment next to mine, so you know. <coughs> I'm happy though, I'm happy. I don't expect another four star. Yep, my luck is dog. And this is the last temple. Uh, let's hopefully get a, another sucrose or sing so. Don't, it's gonna be a weapon. Yep, uh, the wood sith. I mean, we got more refinements, that's also pretty good. Another character, please? Nope, that's okay. How unlike can you get? I. I won't gun you. I won't gun you. But that's fine. We have everyone on the banner. I would love to get Bennett. I would seriously love to get Bennett, but he's not on the banner, so. Oh my god! That's so cute! Also, that's so convenient. An elusive merchant who has a fondless f fondness for glittering Mora. Oh wait, I just realized. Huh? <laughs> no. Oh, fine. I don't have the materials to upgrade you. Kalpalata Lotus. Ah, uh, Kalpalata Lotus. There we go. We need one more though. Plus I'm out of purple books again. Jeez Louise. So, ascend. Were it not for my Okay, uh now I have to fight to fight the the Oceanid a whole bunch of times. And also Do I have a no I don't have a, a sack sword. Oh, you know the song that goes, If I die young, bury me in satin. I, I don't know what satin is though. Does this mean you're investing in me? Oh my god. Does it mean. <laughs> does that mean you're investing in me? Oh my god, she's so cute. No. Oh, fine. Your animations are so cute. Also now I don't know if I will go with uh, physical or electric ching because uh, since I am farming for Razor I'm getting a bunch of physical artifacts so that would be a great way to save resin but then again with uh, Dendro and all I do believe that uh, elemental ching would be better Anyway, the reason why I wanted to record today is because I miss my teapot. Honestly, the teapot is one of the best parts of the game for me. Just being able to customize it as you want and make it your own home. That means a whole bunch for me. So the Quizong Ballista and the, the Coco Gold, if I remember correctly. Uh, by the way, as I was changing characters, I am using the snow something... Silver, uh, star silver, yeah. This weapon, which is a craftable on a uh, razor, because it has the physical damage bonus, and I, I crafted it on a whim. Uh, after looking into a Genshin wiki, I found out that it's a, not a, but the best free-to-play weapon for um, razor. It's huge! Paimon can totally believe it took an adeptus to build this, but. How do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. How so? Uh, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. That would make sense. Is that Celestia in the back? So what are we gonna do? <gasps> Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! Hmm. 
You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, as I recall, okay, okay. there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare <clears throat> parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. Yeah. Would be amazing if we had Al 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 Albedo, but I guess a literal god or another Adeptus would be better. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. A smattering of knowledge, that's a new phrase of here. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Just like my father. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you in the cutscene. Don't think I didn't. So what does this do? Open the doors, I guess. Oh. Those were the repair thingies. I didn't even look at the map. I just went in there for the loot. Ah, these parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. Oh, that the was fast. Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. That took like one third of a second. Ooh. Well, now how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Over here we have nothing, and over there, more. Hey, oh. just what do you think you're doing? Huh, so it's crazy seeing you for the turret. first time. Because you're planning <laughs> to do what? Life. Exactly. Shoot you. Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarder. You the are the leader? To be chock Bro, of I've bitten at least 5,000 of you. anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And the next thing you'll be repairing is your faces. And that's if you get out of this alive. Tut tut. Vandalizing tut, tut. the legacy of an adeptus tut, for selfish tut. gain. This, this is supposed behavior. to be a sound effect. You don't say tut tut. It's like saying like like this. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. Unless tat tat is a thing, which I don't know about. I, I guess that's possible. The thing though is I am quite weak compared to my level. And that's because w when I hit AR-40, uh, I could level up my characters again uh, or ascend them one more time. We should focus on our contract with Chi Chi. Yeah, with Chi Chi, but um... I haven't been leveling talents. That's the thing. Oh, yeah, so I am yeah. quite weaker than so I could be. My talents are still level ranking, 3 to 4 to 2. Goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant... What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast. <sighs> Which means... A Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? Yeah, the only positive thing here is that we bit the treasure hoarders. Why can I not speak straight? <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a cocoa goat, and review our next step. Good idea. We did our best, and that's what counts. Beautiful, Paimon. Well said. Chichi! Chichi! Hello! Hello! I, I I couldn't find the cocoa goat. I'm I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm useless. I know. I know. I'm useless. I was about to get here on the uh, but I lost the 50/50. We were unable That's crazy. to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the cocoa goat adepta beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Thank for clarifying twice. Oh, poor Chi Chi. 
Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Ah, uh, what do you need this cocoa goat for? Cocoa goat milk is tasty. So tasty. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I put it? You sound like you're high. Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. Huh? <sighs> I <laughs> wow. owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child. When perhaps I Yeah, should have yeah, don't mind, bro. I mean, you sir. Know, as the Leroy proverb goes, all things are random and um so how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally, that's no a saying. That, that's a proverb. Thing. All things are random. So how are you supposed to predict anything? What? Okay, that's so literal, though. Excuse me, everyone. Oh, sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. Wow, it sounds that you were <laughs> coconut milk comes from. It all begins with the fruit of the coconut tree, the coconut nut. <laughs> if you know that song, you are a legend. And no, Mike, I'm not talking to you yet. No. Him. Him. Bacana. Seems Chi Chi took this pretty hard. Uh, just needs time to work through it. They all need to grow up sometimes. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna be a terrible parent. I'm not gonna be a parent, that's a joke. <laughs> Someone learned a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all uh, aren't you apparently a harbinger? Chi -chi. I don't know, I saw a photo and you look like one of them. I I don't really look at leaks, but I'm I'm pretty sure that's you, bro. Might I ask who? Ah, oh, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Hi man, that Chi Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. Didn't you hear Chi Chi? Call someone master what? what a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi Chi. Bro, you're a snake. How are you gonna call someone a mascot? Ah, the medicine, the snake is speaking. Nothing in Libya surprises me anymore. Wow, a talking snake. Quote unquote sarcasm. <laughs> I prefer to stay silent, but faced with strange. Yeah, with the way you speak, I, I would stay <laughs> silent too. Jeez. <laughs> Don't mind Chung Shun. She's Shang a good Shang. girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi Chi aside. Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Whew, at last. Three million mora. Top quality. Guaranteed. You might as well just rob the golden house. Aw, oh, too bad the Chi Sing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though it's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. Uh, it's around six million short. What? <laughs> this is correct. Yep. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? Bro, listen, we don't have to go crawling. We break into his house. I remember there's a bunch of gold. We take some. We have an infinite inventory, if you remember, and GG's, and we kill the guy on top of it. Wait, we actually went? <laughs> Bro, what? Coco Goat, Coco Goat, <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh my goodness. Bro, I will I slap you. you fell for that. GG's like a daughter to me. Don't you dare make fun of her. I'm pointing my hand as a gun right now to the screen, but you wouldn't be able to see that, would you? Hey, less laughter, more sympathy. I'm almost in tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. Did, did we mention Baiju's name? Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju isn't it. Truly, uh, truly honored, I'm child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. Is he 
in this point in time still not a harbinger? Does he join later? I guess we will see if that's actually him. I I'm uh, <laughs> I'm trying to figure things out based on stuff that I'm not even sure about if yet. If Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi-Chi wants coconut milk. Ah, yes, of course, Chi-Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 mora. I I'm not even gonna say anything. That's like zero difference from 3 million! It's 0 0.001 percent. Hmm. I think, maybe. I'm not gonna calculate anything. I'm not. Uh, I'm also playing an anime game. Of course, I'm not, I'm not gonna itself. do math while playing. Oh, well, now that this is settled. We must head back to Yujing Terrace. Yep, let's go. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Yep. See ya. What do you have to say? Speak. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. Yeah, I laugh with your face every day, that's so, hard. You've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House, if not the Exuvia? I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. I know, I, I never trusted you from the start. Not even in my other playthroughs. Uh, respecting cultural thingies, thingies. Baizu. What an odd exchange we've had. Well, I look forward to your patronage in the future as well. <laughs> I didn't pay for it though, but that is okay. A weird makeup choice style thingy. And that sound is the laughter of a man who's found new people to fleece. Consider yourselves warned. Wait, so it was a fake price? What? For a few, for a couple of days. Well. As it stands, we will have to helpers, farm silk flowers we've acquired as well. the everlasting incense. Yep. Completion what? is not well, far away. Traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? Odd. I'm not sure if I've been living the high life or experiencing the struggles of the poor. <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? I mean, I only have a half a million more myself, so I'm pretty The questions poor that such myself. travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. What's a ruminate? As to remuneration for your help. What's a remuneration? I did. Oh. To treat you to a meal. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> no enthusiasm. Oh. Ah, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Tonight, I shall take you both to Tonight, an old hole in the wall. Tonight, we feast throughout Lyra. on blood of our enemies. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let it third round knockout. Oh boy, I don't wanna. Third round knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here, the owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. So does it mean I can order wine this time? I ordered some wine fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. I guess you have it. Yeah. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's Jade. Yep, Chamber. and that's how we get introduced to it. Hey, there's even a storyteller here. Great atmosphere. Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. Yeah, there's only two tables though, and one on the other side. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, High above the land of Liyue lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. Pavilion is a synonym of palace? Isn't pavilion like a library? I, th that's what the image I had in my mind. I'm gonna have to... let me note that, actually. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? 
This, my friends, Lady Ningguan's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. Imagine, the weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Behold, the glorious sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching out far and wide. I will get you in the they future. You just trust me. When Lady I'm talking to the cool important affairs. She retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why so brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, look at them, how they billow in the wind, like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyuan, like ink stains and white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought <clears throat> by the paper snow. The paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. Okay, very boring, but, <clears throat> you know. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such so, you wasted all this time just to say that uh, when, a s when there's a serious matter, Ningguang goes up to a palace in the sky that she built, and she gathers information and then scatters the pieces of paper onto Li Yue. Really that's, that's it. One or two of them will surely gift you a fragment, a fragment of, of your wisdom. Okay. Enough to yeah. stay a step or two ahead of your peers. Iron Tang Tian. You're a fake, bro. You're Jay fake. Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. Liyue locals talk about her, the Fatui hate her, she's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia, and we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. Huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. A meticulous one, I would assume. At last I have found you. Oh, the You who who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Sow yourself. Wait, I am not with the Millilith. Nor am I here to claim your bounty. I have a bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Chising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yue High Pavilion, and I have come specifically to meet you. Uh, secretary. Well, in concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Chising. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Ah, uh, that is great. Here's my question, though. If your hair is blue, why are your eyebrows gray? <laughs> That's it. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her. Also, why do the eyelashes not match with the person's hair and eyebrows? Shouldn't they do that? My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayu and Karst. I am duty bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. I guess it is kind of blue. She extends a formal invitation to kinda. you in her capacity as Tian Chen. Nah, it's still grey. She invites you to her palace in the sky. An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite him to come. I wish to meet him. So yeah, it is an invitation. Why are you repeating stuff? At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. Okay, so that means that I unlock the re reputation that, things. The emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. Poof, magic. But we've received an invitation from the Liyue at Chising. We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count. We should be on our best. Ways. I always mind my manners. Paimon is up to something again. <laughs> 
An invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. Yeah, and talking to a god You'd isn't... You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the rite of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, hmm. meet me at Dihua Marsh. Got don't it. worry, we won't forget. Dihua Marsh. We'll see you there. Oh, I... Look up there. Okay. That's the Jade Chamber. That's pretty high up. Uh, question is, how do we get up there? Hmm. Uh, this is bad. Paimon's supposed to be your guide, but Paimon doesn't know where the way up to the Jade Chamber is. Uh, you're only re realizing that now. We should have asked that emissary Ganyu. <gasps> well, since we want to go to the Jade Chamber, heading to its location on the map is the sensible thing to do. Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. Hey, look! There's some sort of mechanism thingy. Since this is the right place, it must have something to do with the Jade Chamber. Maybe it's the way. Uh, it looks like some sort of trap. Yes, this must be the way. So, here I am. We are a few steps closer, but... Huh? It only takes us up to here. Aw, if that wind current was stronger, we'd be able to reach the top in one go. Huh? Why? Uh, the way up shouldn't be a secret, or... Or... Oh, Paimon gets it. If it was a secret, Ganyu wouldn't have let us try to find it ourselves, right? All right, let's follow your plan. Then we can... Why are we so stupid, oh, both of us? Hang on a moment. Look down there. Looks like we've gotten close to the Guizhong Ballista. Hmm. Uh, no, 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 no. Still, I do remember that the Ballista had a scope. Oh, that's right. Now that you mention it, we could use the Guizhong Ballista to see if there's another way up nearby. And if I remember correctly, again, that's where she will, or uh, Katsin will catch us and ask what ho we have been up to. Where is the, the ballista? I'm so lost right now. And I have arrived. Lots of guards, okay. Uh, down, no. Halt! Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? We're just passing through hallowed what now? These are the wilds around Mount Tianheng. Exactly. What are you talking about? We're invited guests. What makes you think you can treat us like this? No. Wait. Maybe this was Ningwan's plan all along. I'm on stop overthinking, please. She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a megalith ambush here to arrest us. Ugh. Now Paimon's mad. You, over there. This is a trick, isn't it? Have what? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? What nonsense! Seize these suspicious intruders at once! Well, here they come! Line them up and knock them down! <coughs> so... Isn't it about time that the... Um, the lady shows up? Stop! What's all this about? Lady Kuching, these what do you strange say, people Kuching? suddenly appeared. They seem... Who are you calling strange? Uh, we're just looking for the way to the Jade Chamber. You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? Well, we were invited guests here to look for the Lila Chising. Who are you? Uh, <laughs> well, as it happens, I am one of the Liyue Chising. Oh! I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Chising. I know of you, Traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Didn't you just ask who I am? What do you mean you know of me? Wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhung Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. Oh. So... These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, <clears throat> not to arrest anyone. And yet, that was what they did, or tried to, because they can't, I'm a god. So, this was all a misunderstanding? Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is... Yeah, that's crazy how a mortal, uh, Mr. Zhongli, did that it. That was... Huh? Oh, right. So, let <clears throat> 
Uh, yeah, how do we go up? I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Wow, that's crazy. You know what's even crazier? These. What are these? Huh? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. They dare? I mean, <clears throat> of course, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm a mortal, bro. Don't notice the flying god beside me. Of course I'm a normal person. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Very professional. I like that. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of Adepti rather than them. And since you could talk, talk with them, Ningguang would prefer to negotiate, wouldn't well, she? Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. I do agree. The time of the Adepti I do has agree. long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? <sighs> Another super bold statement. Yeah, it's true though. You can't say that it's not true. <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, traveler. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. The cream of Liyue's mercantile crop all see ascending to the Jade Chamber is the greatest honor. Favor? But, but, wait, that's right. Greeting gifts are a staple of Liyue's culture. We need to get one. Not to curry favor or anything. All right, all right. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. Yes, enlighten me, please. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuehai Pavilion. And, well then, may we meet again, traveler. Well, that okay. Yuehung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. I uh, agree with some of her views. She made a good impression on me, too. Should we give to Ningguang when we see her? You really have shifted focus, haven't you, Paimon? Oh, right! Paimon drew Sugar Paimon frosted a slime? It would be perfect for us. Why don't we go with that for a gift? So do you have a recipe? And now, how do we make this thing you dreamed yep. up? But Paimon sure... Let's go gather ingredients! I really don't wanna... I just wanna get my, my serenity pot. Okay, and next up is a cutscene, huh? apparently. Is it just time? Huh? Did you hear that? Uh, it sounded like someone was singing, calling for help. It seems like it came from those ruins over there. Uh-oh. It looks like the treasure orders have lots. Oh, boy. Extra sweet, sweet flower. <laughs> what does that mean, even? So, sir. What's up? <sighs> Thank you for your help, kind travelers. If you hadn't come to my aid, I surely would have rotted in this cell. Aw, oh, it was nothing. <laughs> uh, I understand. Don't There's say no that. Need. Uh, can I'm we... Meng Dan, a supplier for Mingxing jewelry, and I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, various knickknacks, you name it. Wait a moment! Actually, oh? do you have a box that can store presents? We'd like a pretty one. The kind that you can use to store snacks. Of course we do. 
How can one sell antiques without gift boxes? At Mingxing Jewelry, we have the best gift wrapping service in the Seven Nations. Isn't it six right now? Now just give me a moment, and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require that box. Great! Paimon Sugar Frosted Slime now comes in a beautiful package. Hello, sir. I do not know if you remember me. Oh, that's not you. Hey there! A guy called Mung Dan told us that we could get a nice and shiny box from your store. Uncle Mung already told me about it. Thank you both for saving him. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Mung. If anything were to happen to him, it would be impossible for us to continue doing business. That's crazy how you don't care. This container is itself an antique, with at least 140 years of... Yep, yep, yep! Hang on a moment. Can we borrow one other thing? What was that? Why it's... Okay. Your dialogue is kind of... Sure. Please help yourselves. As long as it's on our shelves. Traveler! This clay pot looks really awesome. If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack. That's not how food works, it's but okay. The one and only sugar frosted slime. Did we already it's make it? Oh yes. You might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations too. Woohoo! It looks oh, wow. beautiful. Oh wow. That does look beautiful. Isn't the dragon dragon thingy flower thingy? I'm still not solid in this gift idea. I mean, food is always welcome, right? Like if, if you don't know, haven't thought of a good gift, don't buy a book or clothes. Buy them food. Great! Now that we've put all that we've got into this box... Or at least that's my mindset. Uh, icing on the slime. Look for the guide to the jade chamber. <laughs> To coaching, this is what we should say. Excuse me, do you sell the moon here? Sell the moon? <laughs> why yes. are you looking at me How like that? Would you like? <laughs> bro, why are you looking at me like that, bro? It's not convenient to speak of numbers here. Ah, well said. Please use this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes, speaking of which. Are you two the guests that Lady Ningguang has arranged to meet with today? Yep. So, the thing is, she cancelled that meeting because you're pieces of shit. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuang. What's going on here? What's going on here? Where's that from? I, I do remember it from a meme, but... So, we are up. And there's a cutscene. Which I totally remembered that that was a thing. I've been waiting for you, returnee from Joyen Cars. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it, it's been o over, an, o over an hour, and I will keep recording in bulk until I get the Serenity Pot. I'm gonna get the Serenity Pot today! This fine evening, I will get it. Uh, so, GG's for now. I will see you probably for you it's gonna be maybe in a few days. For me it's gonna be in a few seconds. So yeah, GG's.